All right, all right, all right. Peace, 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 family. I am Z the Empress, and I am back with your love reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, this message for whenever you receive it, okay? Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. It really helps grow my channel. I really, really do appreciate that. All right, Pisces, so let's get to it. Okay, Pisces, so regarding your love life, okay? You may be in a toxic situation, a toxic relationship, a situation, chip, connection, um... I feel as though y'all may argue, um, you may be in an abusive relationship. You got the Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, and the King of Swords, and the Judgment at the bottom of the deck. The King of Swords is someone that he, someone that could be in law enforcement, of you know, army, military. Um, but on the negative side, this person can also be a bully. Okay. Um, or controlling and manipulative okay um some of you guys may be putting more into this connection than you are receiving this connection is imbalanced okay um this may be a very fiery passionate um connection here very lustful um this person or who you have, you're dealing with could be, or this could be you, could be dealing with multiple people at the same time. Um, promiscuous. I feel like this situation may be blocking your blessings or blocking you from a better connection. If you believe in karma, I feel like your karma is about to turn around for you and bring in some good karma for you guys. But you must release. You must release this contract in order to gain abundance, a blossoming abundance. You must release yourself. From this contract. That's why the judgment card is here. A judgment. Judgment. Will be made. And I feel as though. Everything in your life. Will get better. Your finances. Will get better. I feel like. Most Pisces are about their coin anyway. So I feel like. You are not suffering in the finance department. But I feel as though. This relationship could be draining you or you may be working so much because you're so unhappy, but you're going to gain a lot from it. You're finding ways to channel your, your stress. That's just for some, um, some of you guys may be starting a new relationship. There may be a new lover or a new woman will be entering your life after you release yourself from this contract from this connection okay um this may, may be someone on your level with a thinking woman at the bottom of the deck but after that it was a woman um holding a heart okay so it may be you may need to make a decision or that person may need to make um a decision i feel like some of you guys are ready for the real thing, you want to take this relationship to the next level. Some of you guys may be coming impatient and ready to move on. But your finances, even though this is this is not a a financial reading, this is a love reading, but it can it keeps it's coming up strong. So you guys will. Everyone's not meant for you to go to the next level with you, Pisces, okay? Everyone is not meant to reap, you know, the fruits, reap the your rewards or the fruits of your labor. That's for you. That's not for them. But I feel like 
it's like you're struggling in relationships, but the money, it's like you want both. It's like you're struggling in relationship, the love department, but your finances are doing great. <laughs> like, you know. But let's see. Let, let me pull some more cards and see what. Let me let me pull my romance deck, my romance, pull for my romance angels deck, and see what else regarding love and romance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter regarding love and romance for Pisces. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It says work on your partnership. So some of you guys may be working on a partnership. And you may, by you having a conversation, you know, having a hard... Some of you guys may be having hard-to-hard -hard conversations with someone and, um, I mean, you know, with, with your partner... So y'all have an understanding. Some of you guys may be, you know, releasing feelings and emotions. See, I just can't make this up. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Some of you guys may be liking, may like someone a lot and and you're holding, but I feel like it's it's like they're holding back. They're the king of swords. They 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 suck at um expressing emotions. You're not really good at that. It's not really a thing. And forgiving and learning. Release. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So whatever you need to release your past. It could it, it it's not always a person. It could be old thoughts and ideas of the past. Could be reflecting your relate um influencing your relationship in a negative way. Maybe that's all some of you guys have been in was toxic relationships and it's kind of made you toxic or have your thinking toxic to where you think everyone is against you when that's not the case. Okay, Pisces. Okay, what's at the bottom? Um, it says love yourself first at the bottom of the deck. Um, your self-love makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, raise your standards, love. That's, I don't know who's for, who's that for, but raise your standards. Create more boundaries. People will respect you more. And stand firm in your beliefs. Okay, Pisces. What else? Regarding love and romance for Pisces. What's an important message is? For Pisces. Pisces. Oh, cards is jumping. Okay, that's a lot of cards, y'all. I was not trying to pull that many, but the first card that jumped out is love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So some of you guys may be going through challenging times in a relationship. And it's basically saying that love perseveres. Love, love wins. Love wins. So you can get through it. Every relationship isn't perfect. Nobody's perfect. If you really, really love and believe that, you know, you can take this relationship to the next level or you can go to the next level with this person, you want to grow with this person, go for it. Okay? Like attracts like... Um, if you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Okay, Pisces? Stop being so mean. Or, you know, maybe you need to, you know, write, answer back some of those DMs. Okay, don't be ignoring people. You can't say that you're tired of being single, you want love and all of that and da da da, but you're ignoring them. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Okay? And then it says, the union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. 
Oh, and I'm getting another thing too. You may have a friend, someone that's always been around you that likes you, that is madly in love with you, or you know wants to see where it could potentially go with you guys. Um, so maybe someone you least expect too, but um, I think someone wants to explore a connection. Someone that's that's been around you, a friend, someone close. You know, wants to explore a romantic connection. And they may be in a friend zone. And they may be afraid to express themselves to you. But I think this is, this will work. It's a work. Union of the hearts. <laughs> like, this is your soulmate. Okay? It's your, yeah. You got to work for it, though. Got to do some more work, Pisces, in order to attain this, this union. Okay, Pisces, so that was your reading. Um, if this reading resonated with you, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up this video. Um, drop a comment. I love comments, guys. Please drop a comment. And until next time, peace, love, and abundance.